Hello everybody! In this video, we discover Angsana Telobahang. This is a 5-star hotel on the northeastern corner of Penang Island. Angsana Hotels and Resorts is an upscale hospitality brand under the Banyan Tree Group. Today, we shall do a narrated tour to explore and discover this resort hotel. Turn on closed caption to follow me in the subtitles in different languages. But before we go any further, let me give you our location coordinates. Key these coordinates into your GPS, Google Maps or Waze to be navigated to Angsana Telopahang. If you ever need to contact the hotel, you can find the address and contact number in the description below the video. We are now walking through the entrance porch which uses repurposed wood for its finishing. This is to reflect the environmental consciousness of the Bayan Tree brand. Welcome to Angsana Telok Pahang. We are now in its massive lobby. To our left is Angsana Gallery, the gift shop. To our right is the lobby lounge. Next to Angsana Gallery is the wide expanse of the front desk. Grazing the wall behind the front desk is a huge metal sculpture. It looks to me to be a sculptural interpretation of the Angsana tree. The sculpture combines the use of metal lattice work and shades. The Angsana, or by its scientific name Petrocarpus indicus, is a tree that is common throughout Southeast Asia. Angsana is one of 10 brands under the Bayan Tree Group. Angsana Teluk Bahang opened on 10 October 2020. It is one of several Angsana resorts all over the world. Other locations include China, India, Indonesia, the Maldives and Thailand among others. Spread out on the sandy coastline, Angsana Teluk Bahang features 250 rooms and suites of which we will be visiting one today. But before we do that, Let's first tour the lobby lounge. Called Chill, it has purple and olive green cultures atop heavy rugs depicting lotus leaves. They give a feeling of flamboyant luxury to the place. Lambs are in the shape of birds perched over the cultures. The floor is of polished marble, so shiny it reflects mirror images. Now let's proceed out of the lobby to visit one of the rooms. The hotel comprises two separate wings. The lobby is at the Angsana wing while many of the rooms are at the Korongsang wing. These two wings are separated by the massive porch. We are now at the Korongsang wing on our way to view one of the rooms. The room that the hotel has chosen to show me is the two-bedroom Sky Garden Suite. To see more rooms at Angsana Teluk Bahang, check out my website Penang Travel Tips. The link is in the description. So here we are at the Sky Garden Suite. This is a spacious penthouse suite with two bedrooms. Measuring a whopping 236 square meters, the Sky Garden Suite has an open concept living room and kitchen. Elements of Baba Nyonya culture is incorporated into the decor. This includes wall art depicting the kamcheng or covered jar, a signature of Baba Nyonya porcelain ware. The furnishing bridges the luxury of bygone Penang with contemporary creature comforts. Extending from the living room is the dining area and kitchen. On this side is the kitchen with coffee maker, sink, cooker hood and hob.
The most outstanding feature of the Sky Garden Suite is its garden terrace, which we shall check out now. The garden terrace is almost equal the size of the interior space. It has a patio with sitting area for guests to relax and enjoy the view. There is also a private jacuzzi for those who wish to take a dip. And spread out before us lies the stupendous view of the sea at Telubahan. Dragon and Phoenix and Baba Nyonya Porcelain continue here as well. Beyond the heavy curtain is a balcony. Let me pull aside the curtain to show you. There we are, the gorgeous view of the Teluk Bahang Coast right outside the room. Imagine sitting here, soaking in the view. The sea is gentle here, lapping on the shore like a fluttering green floor mat. Behind the mirrored doors are the closet and luggage compartment and beyond them is the master bathroom. There is a standalone bathtub and separated shower and toilet chambers. His and her sinks are well stocked with proprietary Angsana brand toiletries. Now let's continue to the second bedroom. It has its own television set with heavy curtains to block out the sun.
The second bedroom is fitted with a queen size bed. There is no ensuite bathroom, but a common bathroom is just across the hallway. It is similarly fitted with a standalone bathtub, shower and toilet chambers, and the same toilet trays. So this is just one of the many rooms and suites at Angsana Telopahang. Next, we check out the pool and the children's play area known as Rangers Club. This is Rangers Club, a place for children to enjoy activities of their own. Over here is a water theme park with various water features. It has a wading pool with slides. Next to the wading pool is one of the swimming pools at Angsana Tolobahang. Now let's take a look at the Teluk Bahang Beach right in front of the resort. The beach is white and sandy, with cashewriners and Indian almond providing shade. And a tropical beach would be incomplete without a few coconut palms. From here, we get a nice view of Angsana Telobahang. On the left, in cascading tiers, is the Kerongsang Wing, while at the center is Angsana Wing. This stretch of sandy beach was once jubilee camp used by the local scouting movement for their camping site. 
The beach here, as is elsewhere in the country, is open to the public. It is still a popular spot to dig for seashells. Here's an Indian almond tree, also known locally as Pokok Ketapang. It is very common in Penang, particularly along the seaside. The beach in front of Angsana Telobahang is immaculately clean, without doubt kept so by the resort itself. Easy cushions with parasols are placed on the beach for the use of resort guests. It is in front of Fire and Ice, the beachside bar where guests can get drinks and snacks. A reflection pool is the welcome feature at the porch area. We return to the porch to continue to a different part of the resort. A recurring feature of Angsana Telobahang is a celebration of the Baban Yonya culture, best exemplified by this porcelain ware. These exquisite items are on display at the lift lobby, which is across from another F&B outlet called Number 11. Now let's go check out number 11. Number 11 is a specialty restaurant. It serves Western cuisine for dinner, Wednesdays to Sundays. It is also the venue for the Angsana High Tea, which is available daily from 2 pm to 5 pm. The restaurant has a blue color scheme with plush upholstery in its finishing.
from number 11, we continue to the main F and B outlet at Angsana, and that's Jendela. Here we are at Jendela. If you look to the left, you will see a mural depicting a Baba Nyonya window. The name Jendela means window. In a way, Jendela is the window to local and regional cuisines. This is where guests partake of the breakfast, available daily from 7am to 10.30am. Lunch is also served here from 11am to 5pm, with dinner from 5pm to 10pm. There are buffet dinners at Jendela on Friday and Saturday evenings. On the day I shot this video, the restaurant was launching the Juada de Telobahang Buffet. Click the link on the top right or in the description for the video on this buffet. The Gamilan troupe you see here is seasonal to the Ramadan month only. Next, we continue to the Jubilee Pavilion.
another F&B outlet. On the way, let's have a look at the infinity pool. It merges almost seamlessly with the sea beyond. So here we are at Jamboree. This is a casual dining outlet. It even has a games arcade. There is a stage here for live performances. From Jamboree, there is this bridge that crosses the porch. That's the main porch of Angsana Telobahang. From here, we can continue to the Kurongsan Wing while another bridge crosses the road to the Angsana Spa. The facade here is all of repurposed wood. Some even come from old telephone poles. That's the other swimming pool which we saw earlier. This is Angsana Gallery, the lifestyle gift shop on the ground floor of the resort. Its products include massage oils, essential oils, apparels and accessories. Among items I came across at the Angsana Gallery were products by native and indigenous peoples supported by the Bayantri group. The gift shop provides an outlet to market their products. There were basketware, tableware, kitchenware and other lifestyle items. There are also soft toys that would make good souvenirs for self as well as for loved ones back home.
And so my friend, we have come to the end of this hotel discovery tour. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it. That will help YouTube's algorithm show it to more people. And subscribe to my channel for more videos as we go discover food and places together. Thanks for watching and hope to meet you again in my next video.